feelings in my heart. I say no I've been feeling butterflies ever since the start. Black Every heart. time I dream, I see you alone with me. This time I ain't gon' let this one slide. Cause baby, it's you and me forever now. 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 MD, you go crazy. Forever now. And me forever now. You and me forever now. Why do I feel this way? Why do she stay on my mind? Girl, you Cause I know it's love I want to stay with you I want to love you till the end of time Girl, you on my mind You on my mind like she used to be Girl, you on my time like a rich watch to me Can't you see my feeling? Got me walking on the ceiling Vampire blade, girl, down for the gather Tell me what next, the aroma of sex Sealing up the air while your legs up there Yes, I'm feeling guilty, but the taste I know everybody in their family have that on Know how everybody talking about that one uncle that be drunk at a barbecue like that? Nah, we ain't even talking about him, he old <laughs> Everybody got that one, like, crazy cuz and like we ain't talking about crazy like me crazy. <laughs> we talking about like crazy like crazy. <laughs> like when you be like, man, that's ninja crazy. Everybody got one of those, you know what I'm mean? saying? In that family. And my cousin, my cousin ain't said. I got a cousin ain't said. <laughs> and like. We, you know, we do things. Me and him, we know we do crazy things. We just, I have a type of crazy, and my cousin have a type of crazy. Now, like I told you, I was first born grandson, raised college park, blah, 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 blah. Y'all know all that, okay. But I always told y'all my family originated out of Palmetto. Like, my mom moved to college park. She was like 15 or 16, something like that, maybe. And, um... Uh, but the rest of the family was down now. But we didn't know them. We grew up like us, tight knit family, thirty some cousins in College Park, not knowing that it was um sixty more cousins in Panama until as time went, I ended up meeting my cousin Cedric Knox. And we became like one of the two duo's best cousins. And we still are to this day. <laughs> And one thing that people didn't know is like, even though my uncles and my aunts knew their cousins, where they had left from, my mama them, knew their cousins down now and their uncles and aunts down now, we didn't really know anything about them because my uncles and my mama and my aunts, they really didn't you know, hang with them, communicate with them, and things of that nature. And, for, and from what I hear, it was like my um, I, I see, I can see my um, my grandmother kids out of Palmetto that was raised in College Park. You know, out of the all the brothers and the sister kids. Um, one of the brothers, which is my grandfather. His kids was raised up there. You know, we was up here and everybody else was down there. So it was like we was the the the, the black ducks of the family, you would say, or uh, um, the have-nots, you know what I'm saying, which that quickly reversed. <laughs> you know, Jehovah God is good. You know, we became more of the popular ones, the ones that with money and got the name and, and the ones, you know, you know, how but anyway, all one big family, we all love each other. But um, me and my cousin said it was like we were the two cousins that were from College Park and Palmetto, the same age, and came from brother, like like brother grandfather, his granddaddy and my granddaddy are brothers. So it was like we was that main bridge. It was like me and him, we was that main bridge that connected all the cousins that was our age and younger, you know, and from down now to the ones that was up here and all our cousins from down now. I mean, from all my cousins that was in kind of part of project to them, the introduction and all that, you know, me and Sid, you know what I'm saying? 
And um, so we done been through a lot together from the start to the jump. You know what I'm saying? Um, and then, you know, we out here in the streets. You know, he, we know he you know, was out there, too, doing the same thing. He was a hustler. And he had, you know, um, book smart, you know, uh, National Guard. And then he did different stuff, too, just like me, a straight, you know, creator. He was very creative. Um, creative um, um, no matter what he was into. You know what I'm saying? Just like myself. It was like we was twins from two different sides of the family. You know what I'm saying? It's straight up being real. And like everybody in the family know that too. Um, but we did different crazies. <laughs> and um, one day I called, said, I called my cousin. I say, man, check this out, man. I'm up in College Park on Main Street. I just had lunch or whatnot, man. And um, I need you to come pick me up and um, take me back to the house. He was like, okay, bet, man, no problem. I'm not, like, probably, like, 10 minutes away from you. So, so, where's my drink? So, um, so he come and pick me up as I'm standing outside the restaurant on Main Street College Park. And we jump into his, um, Chrysler 300. And once I get in and I got my bag and stuff, I noticed that. His windshield is busted. <laughs> but in, on his side, the driver's side, it's a little round hole about this big that is not cracked. It's no hole in it. I'm sorry for saying that, but it's just a space that's about this big that's not cracked. Everything else is cracked all the way on my side. I can't see nothing. So I get in the car like, man, what happened, man? Like, oh, man, you know, it was just a boy, you know, whatever. <laughs> And he shoot it out, man. I think, you know, like, girl trouble, you know, him and his wife, you know, whatever. And uh, so we start riding. We turn around and start riding. I'm like, hey, man, you can't ride like this, bro. <laughs> like, you'll get pulled over. I got weed on me, too, man. You know what I'm saying? And he was like, I know, man. I'm just trying to get out of him. I'm just trying to get out of him. I'm just trying to get out of him. I'm like, keep saying, get out of him. I'm like, what's going on, bro? He was like, damn, man. I'm just, I'm just trying to get out of it, bro, you know. Because the windshield and stuff like that. Oh, I'm like, oh, okay. You know, like that. So we ride down Main Street, Collar Park. Boom, boom, boom. We're almost out of it. on um, The downtown district area, like where the project set. And we jump on the expressway. Man, we gone. We ride. You know what I'm saying? Uh, uh, uh. <laughs> but we get like right up in the old national. Right, <laughs> right before we get the old national, y'all. And my cousin. Pull up like it's a car sitting on the side of the road, like emergency car. You got a little stick on the side. The next time the people come back around, they're gonna tow it. You know what I'm saying? I mean, they've been there for a minute. So my cousin said, "Pull up to it." Keep in mind, well, I'm telling y'all for the first time, my cousin said is a master mechanic, straight up and down. Got his masters in mechanic mechanistry. <laughs> I'm fine, I'm fine, y'all. I'm fine, you know what I'm mean? saying? So he got his he got his um masters in mechanistry and he's a master mechanic. <laughs> but we riding though. I see him slowing down, pulling onto a car. I'm like, oh, you know, he probably finna like um work on it. He got, you know, somebody to come because that's what he does. That's how he get that money. He can fix anything and it boom, 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 he's done, you know, however. And uh <laughs> And we pull up, he jump out, like, hold up, cuz, give me a second. I'm like, all right, bet. And I'm like, oh, this is his car. He probably finna, like, get something out of it or whatever. So when he gets to the car, boom, he just hit the ground. I'm like, didn't they just have a seizure? <laughs> but he done rolled up on the car. <laughs> he done rolled up on the car. So I'm like, oh, he probably just fixing it. He know what's wrong with it. You know, I'm just thinking things, but at the same time, I'm thinking other things, like getting home, my kids, my wife, just different stuff like that right now. And I had my own day. So my mind is on him, but it's not on him. So then, like, really, before you know it, well, you know, because I'm, I'm, you know, daydreaming, whatever, he coming up, up, up from up under the car. I'm like, there you go right now. So then he had something in his hand, though. You know, I don't know nothing about cars, but, like, the driver. <laughs> and, um, uh, I, I know a little something. You know, I know how to, um, Crank it up. So listen up. <laughs> so, so, so he comes walking back to the car. 
he got something. But is he coming back? I don't, I see, I can't tell nobody pulling up behind me. We're on the spread with them call going. We in an emergency line. But he's coming toward the car with something in his hand. And all of a sudden, he just take off running toward me. So I'm like, man, what's going on with him? Why are you running toward him? And then when I look back, I see that uh, SUV done pulled up on us from the back. But I still really don't get what's going on. I'm, boom, before you know it, he in the car. He slamming or pulling, you know, however, he pulling in drive uh, and trying to take off. But whatever's wrong with his car, when he smashed the gas, it just like flood out for a minute. <laughs> and time he do that, because all in seconds, he run to the car, slam the door, put it in gear, smash the gas. And when he smashed the gas, the dude is at the driver's side window, who look like he had a an alternator. <laughs> Boom! And just bust out the whole side wonder on my car. I'm like, cool, what the hell? And at that time, the car done got gas and we done pulled out. Uh, we show we show like this. We show like this. Dude in the SUV trying to come behind us. But my cousin, you know, my cousin, <laughs> My cousin done whipped it, and he going through traffic so rapidly that home just stopped. So, so we, we realize homes ain't right there behind us no more. I'm like, Carl, what the hell with that, man? What the hell going on? He was like, oh, bye. Hey, hey Carl, you know, but I been catching, catching these folks on the spreadway. I'm like, what you mean? He was like, man, I been like in the car that be on the spreadway, man. I see it, man. Bye. I'm just going to pull up on it and just go cut off the Cadillac convertible. <laughs> I'm like, hey, that was you had in your hand. You came back to the car. He reached back in the back seat. Yeah, boy, I did 150, right? <laughs> but what's crazy is we get away. We get off on flat shows, make that right. We write that by BP that, yo, those who of y'all that knows. We get off on flat show, bust the right off flat show. We go and pay BP. We bust another right. We write down Fairwood with Bellica High School at. But we bust that quick left and we write down Texaco parking lot. So we just pull up in the park spot, like right there where you're, you're on vacuum, your car and stuff at. And he get on the phone like, hey, boy, I need you to pick me up. Hey, somebody, do what I'm at, do what I'm at. Do what I'm like, man, go on, on. Pick him up. Take, take me home, drop me off. Like, what the <laughs> So we wait by five or ten minutes. Two more dudes pull up in another car. We get all, I help my cousin, and the dudes get out too. We get all his stuff out of that car. His tools, he got tools, bags, all type of stuff in the back seat, in the trunk, and we put it all in these dude car. So he introduced me to him, what's up, bro? What's up, my cousin, Tree? What's up, what's up, man? What's up, man? Boom. We just gonna drop him off at home, y'all, right down the street, where you know. But yeah, uh, we get in the car. So we riding there playing the music. I'm like, oh, what, what's going on, bro? He was like, oh, man, that car was stolen. <laughs> he didn't, now he said, man, they don't report that car stolen. <laughs> I said, man, what you mean they don't report it? You know, it sounded so, so, long, so long ago to me, like my stolen car. They, what you mean? They, I don't forget what that's. Man, I don't forgot what reported the car stolen me. I said, hey, man. What you mean they don't report the car stolen? What you talking about? For real, though, what you talking about? <laughs> he was like, oh, man, I was working on a dude car, man, and he didn't pay me all the money, man, so I just kept it. <laughs> but you can't keep these four car. Man, hey, man, I just kept it, man. You know, I just found out that police, you know, been to my mama out, been here, you know. So, man, I, man, I just had to run it. By the way, I just dumped me the windshield. I was bust out when he bust out the windshield when I pulled out. <laughs> what? <laughs> so, what's going on there, man? With these folks, man? Oh, these my folk right here, man. Jim, Jim. <laughs> They're like, what's up? Oh, these, these my folk right here, man. Jim, Leroy, what, what's up? Y'all, what's up? What's up, Tree? Man, they, they, they don't drop you off at the house, man. Sound like bet. So, we ride. Get a little 10 minute ride. I'm like, man, this ain't the way to my house, man. Like, you know what I'm saying? I'm in my head, but I don't say that. This ain't the way to my house, you know what I'm saying? But I don't say that. 
We pull up at another house. Two dudes get out the front seat. Who had the front seat drive? They go in the house. My cousin right behind them. I'm just sending a call. I'm like, man, I ain't just finna you know. Well, man. Man, if somewhere in Farron, Georgia, I'm like, man, I ain't finna sit in that car, man. So I just get out, back seat of the car, just stand like on the back door in the hood, right? I mean, the, the trunk. Smoke me a little cigarette. And then they, they, them three come back out, but then it's a white man come out, a little Sandy Brown house, down to his back with some flip flops on, ugly feet. <laughs> That nigga right here been walking on glass, honey, and, and a beehive. <laughs> but, but, um, I said, cool, what's going on, man? Because they start walking to the car. Dude cranking up his truck, and then, like, everybody moving, but me, I'm like, what's cool, what's going on? And he said, hey, man, the white boy gonna take you home for my jet pay them $20. Like, cool, man, who, man, who would they do, man? OD my folk, man. Jim Brother Tim. <laughs> man, make a long story, man. You know, I got home in one piece, man, but like my crazy cousin, man, do not, do not break down on the spreadway between I-20, the high four I'm giving y'all. <laughs> I-20 East and 85 South down there doing it. No, the exit. Anywhere up in there, y'all break down. If y'all can't let come first, we go. <laughs> oh, man, I get it back with It's <laughs> my price. <laughs> it's real talk, man. Real talk, man. Hey, I love my crazy cousin, man. See, I love y'all. Hey, man, thank y'all for tuning in to another great episode of Underground Source TV. With your host, TV and film producer, Don Trees Knox. Y'all check out that New Orleans phone, man. Y'all check out the uh, Don Knox is American Nightmare, man. Don Knox American Nightmare, man. Y'all check it out. Type it in. See where it's at. See where it's coming to soon. Y'all see that new movie. Man, I got this new album that's coming out. It's going to be on YouTube. New little mixtape, man. It's going to be dope. I got a lot of great features on it. Creator, Dungeon Family. Cool Breeze is it's a, a lot Bangladesh. Man, it is going down right here. This new album is called Welcome to the Pumpkin Patch. OG Black Boy 3700 is out. College Park, stand up. The ceiling, vampire blade, girl, we die for the gather. Kill me with next the aroma of sex. Sealing up the air while your legs up there. Yes, I'm feeling guilty, but the taste is so great. So put your ass in the air, put the pussy in my face. Yeah, my face. no time as you take off your clothes. Licking on your neck and kissing on your toes. I don't deserve her, of course I don't deserve you. But I prefer you to what you really want to do. Step inside my circle, pulling up like Steve Urkel. Yeah, I do that because the nigga's not verbal. If it isn't love, nigga, tell me what is it? You living too live or too wide, that's the business. Is in love, is in love. What does it take for me to be with you all the time, all the time? If it is in love.